Hi everyone, it's Colin from Secret Origin Comics, and I am back yet again with another haul video for this week. Uh, kind of getting tired of this format already. I think it's pretty stale uh, with me just talking while you stare at the table of books. Uh, so I'm going to try and come up with something for next week. Uh, but I wanted to get one out on time, so I kind of have to do the old method uh, th this week, and then hopefully we can switch it up for next week. <clears throat> this should go out on Tuesday, I think, for the second week in a row, uh, which is the plan to have this video go out on Tuesdays, and then at least one or two more other videos go out through the week. I'm still trying to figure out what types of videos to do, but uh, please stay tuned. Hey, it's Colin again from Secret Origin Comics, and this is Holland Episode 3. Uh, we got even more New 52 books, uh, and a special guest Walking Dead omnibus in there uh, to, to round things out. That was another great week on the Ebays. Uh, we got some solid finds. Uh, these coming from a different... It was another great week on Ebay. Uh, I was able to get a pile of New 52 hardcovers. I'm trying to collect the whole set. Managed to find a few new sellers other than the, the ones I've been using. Uh, I was able to pick up 15 this week, which I think is pretty good. Uh, two months ago I had zero New 52 hardcovers and now I have 45, so it's, it's moving along quite nicely. The question is, I don't think they made hardcovers for every series. Uh, so do I put aside the OCD person in me and get the trade paperbacks even though they won't look the same on the shelf? Or do I just go with an, a collection of all of the hardcovers and leave it at that? Leave a comment and let me know what you would do. Would you just fill in the gaps with the trade paperbacks or just stick to the hardcovers? The other question is, is I wonder if there is a, a comprehensive New 52 reading order anywhere on the internet? Uh, because most of these books I haven't read, uh, like the Justice League, Batman, uh, detective stuff like that I've read but that's about it uh, so I would like to go through and read the whole thing and I know that a lot of the series don't tie into one another but there is a comprehensive reading order out there I would like to see it so if you've seen one also please leave a comment we'll go ahead and get the admin out of the way uh, I got zero followers after the last video so come on I guess I only really got like three views so <clears throat> I think two of them were me. I'm going to try and get this out to a few more people. I want to try and get like one new follower this week. That's the goal. If I can do two videos, maybe I'll get that, that one follower. That one subscriber. I keep calling them followers. This is an Instagram. I do have an Instagram account though, so please check that out. Uh, the link is in the description. Uh, and if you do decide to subscribe, be sure and check the bell for the notifications so that you see every time one of these fantastic videos gets uploaded uh, and leave you know as many comments as you want I will answer all of them I promise you okay let's get into the let's get into the meat of the of the video uh, the first thing we have here are some first thing we have here are some Justice League books I think the Snyder and Capullo Batman ended up being the most famous and successful uh, of the titles coming out of New 52 but with the team of Jeff Johns and Jim Lee I think they were hoping that Justice League would be that and, and in my opinion they certainly delivered, uh, especially with these first uh, couple of volumes. Uh, we have volume one here, which is the origin. Uh, this is issues one through six. Establishes a new origin for the Justice League. They made an animated movie about it. Brought in Dark Side, so you had Kirby's Fourth World introduced right away. So you knew that was going to be part of this new Fifty Two, which I think was a great, great idea. Then Volume 2, which is also Jeff Johns and Jim Lee. This collects issues 7 through 12. And then finally we have Throne of Atlantis. This is a bit of a crossover. You have a couple issues of um, Aquaman, issues 15 and 16. And then issues 13 through 17 of the Justice League title. Uh, so yeah, these are the first three volumes of Justice League that I was able to get. There were eight total, so I have five more to get for this one. Uh, next up we'll do, uh, these are the first three volumes of Detective that I've got. I'm not sure how many there are total, but I think it's going to be a lot because six, at least six, because I got volumes two, three, and six. I will start with volume two, which is Scare Tactics. The art and words are both done by Tony Daniel. This collects the first annual as well as issues 8 through 12. Volume 3 then, Emperor Penguin. Uh, I think I've read this, but I definitely want to read this again. 
I'm a big Penguin fan. I don't think he gets nearly enough stories. Uh, words by John Lehman. Uh, art by Jason Fabok. Fabok. Please let me know. Uh, and Andy Clark. Uh, this collects issues 13 through 18. And then a completely different look. This is a Manipul uh, Bucciolato. Uh, you can tell right away. Uh, I did. I definitely read this. Um, first time I read these guys as a team was on the the Flash, the first few volumes of Flash uh, that came out for New Fifty Two, uh, and I really liked that. So I was excited when they took over uh, Detective. Uh, this collects issues thirty through thirty four, and then the third annual. This week is also the first week that I picked up anything having to do with. Uh, Superman. I picked up four different volumes of Superman action, three of Superman and then one of action. We'll go ahead and start with action first. Uh, I was able to grab volume four of action comics. This is made up of the second annual issues 19 through 24 and then the 2013 Young Love Valentine's. A story from that. Uh, the Valentine's special that DC put out. It's written by Andy Diggle and Scott Lobdell and then arts by Tony Daniel and Tyler Kirkham. Volume 4 Hybrid. And then, as I had said before, I got three issues of, or three volumes of Superman. Uh, first one is Volume 2, Secrets and Lies. This collects issues 7 through 12 in the first annual, uh, written by Dan Dur Jurgens with art by Keith Giffen and Jesus Moreno. Volume 3, uh, this is a really skinny one. Uh, it's written by Scott Lobdell with art by Kenny Roquefort. Uh, this collects issues 13 through 17, so yeah, only four, only four issues in this one. And then finally, it's made up for in the fourth issue, which is Psy War. Uh, this has issues from a few different series. Uh, it's issues 18 through 22. Uh, the second annual, and then also includes uh, Action Comics number 24, written by Scott Lobdell, with Kenny Roquefort again on the art. Alright, back to Batman. Uh, Batman Incorporated Volume 2. Uh, this is the second half of this series. There are only 13 issues plus a special. Uh, this volume is a special one that includes the death of Damian Wayne uh, issue, issue no, it was issue number eight. Uh, spoilers, sorry. It's a it's a lot of years old though, so I'm sure you know. And I'm sure you see that he's still alive, so that didn't stick for very long. Uh, this of course was written by Grant Morrison and the art was done by Pittsburgh's own Chris Burnham. Uh, this collects issues seven through 13 and then the, uh, the Batman Incorporated special. The cover of this volume is is the cover that they used for issue number eight and uh, the very first Comic Con I ever went to was at a rundown mall in Pittsburgh called Pittsburgh Mills and I got this issue, issue number eight, signed by again Pittsburgh's own Chris Burnham so there's a, a story for you. I think that mall is in foreclosure right now so it's too bad. And then the, uh, the other Bat Universe book I got this week uh, Batman the Dark Knight Volume 3, Mad. Uh, I think this, I'm not sure, but I think this picks up right after Volume 2 with the same arc, uh, Mad Hatter, Scarecrow, kind of the psychological side of Batman. This collects issues 16 through 21 and the first annual. Uh, the writing was done by Greg Hurwitz and the art, unfortunately, was done by Comics Gate Supreme Asshole Ethan Van Scriver. I can separate the art from the artist. Not going to mind really reading this, but I'm glad that I was able to buy it secondhand since none of my money went to him. So I have volumes 2 and 3 now. Uh, I haven't read any of this, so I and still need to get volume 1 before I can start. So if anyone out there watches this and has volume 1 and they're looking to offload it, hit me up. Alright, and the last DC that we have, uh, New 52, is um, some Green Lantern titles. These are the first Green Lantern books I've gotten, and I've not read any of the Green Lantern New 52 stuff. Um, everyone seems to like it though. There are three titles to start and I know they added you know, Red Lanterns, Larflees was in there. This is where I definitely am going to need a, a reading order so that I can get the whole thing down. Yeah, I'm going to read the entire series. Uh, okay, so for the main series, 
I was able to pick up two volumes, uh, volumes four and five. Uh, Green Lantern Volume 4, uh, written by Robert Venditti with art by Billy Tan. This collects issues 21 through 26. Uh, the 23.2, which is the one of the villains issues. I don't know if you remember those. Those had the particular covers. Uh, I think I have that one actually in one of these drawers. Uh, and then also uh, the second annual. It's a nice, nice size volume there. And then. Volume 5, which is Testa Wills, uh, also written by Robert Venditti and art by Billy Tan. Uh, you can see there Van Jensen and Bernard Chang's name is also there because I think this includes some non green arrow. Yeah, this is this is 27 through 34, the main green arrow series, and then two issues from Green Lantern Corps 31 and 33. So that's where the Van Jensen and Bernard Chang uh, names, why they're there. Yeah, definitely looking forward to reading these. Next up, two more. Uh, we'll start with Green Lantern Core, uh, Volume 3, Willpower. Uh, this is the John Stewart, Guy Gardner team. That's about all I know about it. Uh, written by Peter J. Tomasi, uh, with art by Scott Hanna and Fernando Passarin. This includes issues 15 through 20 and also Annual 1. And last but not least is Green Lantern New Guardians. Uh, this is the Kyle Rayner team. This is a nice thick hardcover. I think there were only three of these total. This this finishes up the series. I don't have volumes one and two, so uh, I can't really get started on it. It's written by Tony Bedard with art by Aaron Cooter. Uh, volume three, Love and Death. This is issues 13 through 20 and the Zero issue. All right, that is all for DC. But last but not least is uh, Volume 3 of these image slipcase uh, omnibuses. I think in the first, I think it was the first video that I got the first one. Um, it's got a nice dust jacket there. Uh, and then the slipcase. Uh, I got this for a song. There is a little bit of damage right there on the corner, but it's not too bad. You have it on the on the shelf. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it like that. I think I have it like this on the shelf for the first one and not the slipcase. But I think once I get a few more and they start to line up, uh, I'll change it. Uh, but yeah, this is volume three. So I'm missing volume two. So I have a gap in there. And I think, I think there were eight of these as well. This is issues 25 through 48 and is brought to you by the team, uh, Robert Kirkman and Charlie Adlard. I think everyone knows that. All right, uh, that just about wraps things up. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did or if you didn't, please uh, let me know one way or the other in the comments. If you liked it, please like it. Uh, definitely subscribe if you can. And then I have some other haul videos, like these, like the eBay in stock trade hauls will definitely come once a week. Uh, that's where I get my my new stuff is from in stock trades they're not a sponsor but i would love them to be so hit me up uh, merklers please and then i also will have it uh twice a month i get shipments in from discount comic book service again not a sponsor but i would love them to be uh i know they're busy right now with uh with dc so i will i'll give them a break and also maybe uh, you know once i get 10 subscribers they'll, they'll be interested uh but anyway uh so i have I know I have I have one of those from May that I need to film uh, the unboxing for that. Well, it's already unboxed, but I'll I'll do a uh, a haul video for my May DCBS order, uh, and then I have I just got another one today. Okay, that'll do it. Uh, again, this is Colin. This was episode three of Holland uh, for Secret Origin Comics. I just want to say uh, thanks again for watching, and have a great evening. And uh, until next time, keep reading.